When someone has a passion, they should follow it. You never know where you'll end up. For James Laws, oh. he ended up in a comic book. Right here. I used to have really long hair too, so. How's it going? But before that, he was already living his dream, even if he wasn't in a comic book yet. When I was young, I, I read comics. It helped me learn to read better and comprehend better. From there, I kept reading comics. I sold all my comics and then got back into it about 10 years ago. Started collecting again, started reading, and talked to the previous owner. And I wanted to open a store in Midland, but he's like, well, I'm gonna sell this one. Why don't you just buy this one? So we, we worked it out and uh, that's how I bought it. James Laws has owned a Hive comic shop in Odessa, Texas since November 2019. The Hive sells everything from comic books to card games to Funko Pops to posters. Chances are, if you visit, there's something for you. There's a comic for everyone. There's comics for kids. There's comics for adults. There's, uh, one, there's one-shot comics where there's just one story in one book. There's comics that go on for 350 issues that are just a continuous story. To Laws, there's a beauty to comics that you won't see on the big screen. Think about it this way. Superman, there's what, 10 movies? Action Comics has, I think, close to 1,100 comics. So you have 1,100 stories-ish. Uh, some of them keep going, continue, but that's 1,100 stories you can tell. So there's 100 times more stories in just that one, one run of Superman. A rising star in a comic scene even wrote his comic right on one of those chairs. Joey Pineda is a local comic writer, and he has uh, two different comics that he has written, and um, they're both a lot of fun. Like, Joey would come and he would write his comic book here. Uh, he'd come in, get his laptop right away, get some great ideas, you know, he'd walk around the store, go pick up a book, read through it. Cool, I like the dialogue in this. Um, I like the action sequence, and then he'd just go to writing, you know? In one of their comics, not only will you see a familiar place, you'll also see a familiar face. It actually has the hive in it, and the bad guys are the uh, previous owners. See, he did a hive exclusive cover, so stuff like this. Here's, here's the Troubles Back hive exclusive, this one. This is one of my favorite covers of all time. His new comic, Cubicle Wars, he added me into it as one of the one of the uh, characters. Is your character in here exactly like how you are in real life? Yeah, he's just laid back and... How's it feel to be a comic book character? Uh, it's, it's crazy. So I haven't signed any books yet, so that's good. James has made the Hive the place to swarm for local comic lovers. <laughs> Having events like the late Power Rangers actor Jason David Frank and the chief creative officer of DC Comics, Jim Lee, coming to sign customers' comics. What was your uh, biggest event? Like what event like... The JDF. That one? Yeah, it was... It was so busy. We, we, we made plenty that day. But like it was just busy all day. Just like he had uh, from noon to six. But even without the big name actors and comic studio royalty, loyal shopgoers still swarm the hive on a regular basis. We always have some fun stuff to do. We have Pokemon cards. We play Pokemon. We play Magic, play Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, yeah, we, we play games. We have fun here. It's a safe place for these people where they can meet other comic lovers who share the same interests. A safe place that might not be there for long. I have been weighing heavily to close the store. Unfortunately, a few days after we left the comic shop, we were hit with some sad news. The economy's rough right now, and sales are, <laughs> sales are goofy. Um, financially, we just cannot keep the store open. Right now is a tough time because we can feel the ramifications of everything shutting down and people just don't have the disposable income to buy collectibles and cards and comics and stuff like they did in 2020 and 2021. Those were two great years for sales, but we feel it now that the market kind of is uh, on the downturn at the moment. Even though the store is closing, it doesn't take away from the memories created in this place. From the now invaluable signatures of Jason David Franks and Jim Lee in the comics of Everyday Odessans, and finally finding that rare comic you've been looking for in the catacombs of the Hive. Even though it's closing, the shop will forever live on the comic pages of Trouble Beck. How many comic shops can say that? Because that's the beauty of comics. No matter how much the real world changes, the art and dialogue drawn on those pages will always live on. There we go. How's it feel to finally sign one of these comic books? That's, it's uh, heartbreaking and uh, um, an emotional thing because the everybody involved in this comic were big parts of the Hive comics, so 
Um, I wouldn't have been here without them, obviously, at all. So. And I think it's safe to say the story of James Laws and his comic book journey isn't quite over yet. So make sure to bookmark this page.